after a relatively benign year for corporate distress and restructurings in 2021, we're expecting an increase in defaults and restructurings in 2022, with the open question being when exactly that will be felt. The second half of 2021 has been characterised by a rebound in consumer spending as economies have opened up, a booming M&A market and plentiful liquidity. But the macroeconomic picture remains gloomy, with rising inflation, labour shortages, supply chain issues, among others. The pandemic's made it hard to assess the impact of Brexit on a standalone basis, but it's clear the effect of Brexit is being felt, at least in our ability to address and recover from the supply issues caused by COVID. Fundamentally, many businesses missed out on significant revenues over the last 20 months and have funded their liquidity needs with additional debt. Some of that debt will be unsustainable and will need to be restructured. There's been a lot of talk of the tailing off of government support schemes being the trigger for a wave of defaults. In light of the rapid spread of the Omicron variant, I think the question now must be whether governments feel they have to extend support schemes further, particularly to retail and consumer goods businesses and to those in the travel, leisure and hospitality sectors, those already hardest hit by the pandemic. Absent further support, it's probably the early part of 2022 will see distress levels rise sharply in these sectors, as lower demand over the festive period is likely to have a material impact on cash flow and supply chain disruptions uh, and staff shortages will mean that even if demand is there, businesses may struggle to convert that into revenue. In terms of key trends uh, and issues in the restructuring market in the next year, I'll highlight just a few. I expect the trend of contested litigated restructurings to continue, particularly but not exclusively in the context of cross-class cram down under the restructuring plan process. I also think we'll see an increase in liability management exercises, with debtors taking advantage of flexibility under their finance documents to address their liquidity issues and over levered balance sheets. On the legislative front, the new criminal offences introduced by the Pension Schemes Act will garner a lot of attention on restructurings that feature a debtor with a defined benefit pension scheme. And watch out for the National Security and Investment Act coming into force in early 2022 and the impact that may have on secured lending transactions in the specified sectors, particularly in any default or enforcement scenario.